Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, I did it. I'm videoing for you. As we're headed back home, we got this kind of um, polo. It's with coconut. I don't know. I'm probably not saying it right. But I really like it. So we got that. I was trying to... Um, eat one <laughs> and I said no I have to video for you guys so here is what's going on maybe that will be like for the access from here underneath the road so you see the main road will be going up there this is the access road and maybe like this road they'll bring it underneath the main road Nana is here. Nana, what did you get at church? What? Look at all that stuff he got. Wow. And a book for his notes. We were just talking about that. Wow. And a pen and a pencil. Uh-huh. Oh, that was a blessing. And you guys are here for the road construction, so... We're going to get to that as well. Look at that wall, guys. The wall is very tall. So that is, I guess, where the cars are going to go up. I'm seeing they have to make it go up and over so that those accessing either side will have a, a road. Maybe you guys can stop the video and maybe you'll be able to see it. But it's nice. They took the extra effort on that one to make it look nice. There's a walkway. And we're headed. 
added to the other part of the construction on the way out of Accra. So is this called Insawam Road? Yeah. Okay, this is called Ensawam Road. So we're headed towards Ensawam. We won't reach there because our turn is before Ensawam. There's the St. Moses Community Hospital. something over there. Uh, big uh, gutter. So maybe water flows. Yeah, I guess water flows a lot over here. So they're working on that. Getting that situated. Now that uh, petrol or gas, as you would call it, is 1285, I guess, because it's back in there. They got to get people to uh, come over there. I don't know. That's 12 CDs, 85 pesos per liter. Per liter, guys. So, it is still April 14th. But I'm just showing you guys the road construction. See, they're getting water right there. I'm just showing you guys the road construction coming back. On the other side because it's different you can catch it a different angle this was the Festus Hotel I guess it still is they encroached I think on the roadway and um, they took part of it down they still have it there but they took part of it down because it was encroached on the road I guess so the proposed road was, you know, planned out a long time ago, but because they had not done it, people encroached on the road. And then when it came time, that's why you guys have to be really sure about the land you buy or the land you build on because they encroached on the road. And then when it came time for the road to be built, you know, they come through and they take all the building down until, you know, back where it's supposed to be. So, yeah. So, you lose out. Like, let's say you build this big, giant place here. And as you can see, they had to take part of it down. As you see the edge there, the iron rods are hanging out and everything. They had to literally take part of the building down because they were too close. So, you got to be really careful. That's why um, if you're buying land here in Ghana, you want to make sure you go the whole route. You want to make sure you not just get, you know, the initial paperwork they're going to give you. You make sure you go for the land certificate, the land title. So that's when you're really secure. And, you know, when you do that, you're not going to have any issues like that. You're not going to have any issues like, oh, um, I built on my land and it was actually in the roadway. No. When you do the land title, land certificate, all of that is checked and made sure that um, everything is legit. Make sure that you're not, you're, you know, the piece of land is not on a road, proposed road. Somebody hit that gutter. No, that damaged their vehicle. Because this is solid cement here. With iron rods, I believe. Not 100% sure, but I thought they put iron rods in the. Maybe they didn't. I guess they didn't. I guess um, the gutter does not have iron rods now that I think about it. Or does it? No. Because I 
saw somebody hit that one too. They got a lot of repairs to do on these gutters before before it's all said and done. And you see what I'm talking about about the dust, guys? Yep. So watering the road is very beneficial. See that house was encroaching. So they have to take it down. They have to take it down. And then people come and they actually um, break the cement off and the iron rods. Wow, that looks beautiful. Look at all that. Uh, lots of good stuff. So this is a little market. Lots of good stuff here. Very nice. So I guess um, it depends on the part of the gutter that you're at. The parts that I saw that were broken didn't have the iron rods. That was pretty good for those who hit it. And you're just hitting cement instead of cement with iron rods, I guess. market, they have trees, uh, pesticides, fertilizers. Okay, you see how they're doing this construction? Oh, oh I guess the road is going to go up here too. I'm guessing, look at all the iron rods they have inside. You see? The rusty looking one, the small one. It's a lot of iron rod there. They've made a walkway here so people can walk. So that is very good. the road going this way. It really is a beautiful day. The clouds are looking beautiful. As you guys can see the road construction is going on very well. Got a lot they're doing over here. On this side filling it in. You see that? They're filling it. Uh -huh. Some of the wall they're making over there. So you see the, they're working them. These are the forms they use for the gutter. So you see over there they're doing the gutter in those forms and making it, you see? Mm -hmm. So that's how they do the gutter. This will be a walkway. You, you can see the um, ramp. So they haven't constructed all of it, but hopefully they'll get to that. Iron rods in the wall. Yeah, I guess the gutter doesn't have iron rods, just the wall. So there they have the water knocking down the dust. So that's a job in itself just to keep the water on the road, to keep the dust down. Here we are back at the China Mall. Yeah. 
so I didn't take you guys as long it took us longer but I took you in further I guess as we were going I took you in further so I started the video a little bit later on the way out Somebody said those blocks are for the road itself. Not really sure, but I think that's what they said. It's for the road. These um, blocks here. I'm calling them blocks. I don't know what they're really called. Pavers, maybe. Not sure. That's what I'm saying. It's not cheap, guys. 
Look at all the iron rods in there. I mean, it's not cheap. Not cheap. Here's all the filling material. Oh, so they'll be filling it in. You see how high the gutter is. So they'll have to fill it up to gutter level. They're still working over there. Looks like rain over there, guys. See, we can get home and get in and get the chickers situated before the rain comes. Might go down there a little early and get the chickers. So it is 12:16 Ghana time in the afternoon. Normally I do the chickens water at two. So we'll see. I might do it a little early today. We have to make sure we plan the trips very well because the chickens need water during the day. We have nine drinkers and usually in the afternoon I have to fill about six of them back up. So they drink a lot of water. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end it here and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, God bless you.